The U.S. Navy has reported on Friday that Ohio class of nuclear-powered submarine tested four life-extended Trident II D-5 SLBM submarine launch ballistic missiles to validate their performance. A service news release states, the U.S. Navy conducted four scheduled missile test flights of unarmed Trident II D-5 missiles from USS Nebraska SSBN-739 an Ohio class ballistic missile submarine off the coast of Southern California this week The first two launches took place September 4th and the last two were September 6th all occurred before sunrise In this video defense updates examines US Navy testing of Trident 2 D5 from USS Nebraska Ohio ballistic missile submarine Let's get started this video is sponsored by the free-to-play military vehicle combat game War Thunder. We talk a lot about military vehicles on this channel, but what about trying them out for yourself? In War Thunder, you can choose from more than 1,200 playable vehicles from the 1930s to the 1990s and go to battle on more than 80 theaters of war. You can fly aircraft, helicopters, drive tanks, and command ships of all types and sizes, which have been carefully recreated from their real-world counterparts. It's available as a free download on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. So grab your friends and give it a try. All viewers of Defense Updates that register using the link in the description below will also get a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship and three days of premium account time as a bonus. Viewers may note that Trident 2 was originally designed to operate till 2024 but they went through a life extension program that will enable them to be operated till the 2040s. Currently, they're deployed in U.S. Ohio class and United Kingdom Vanguard class SSBNs and will also be deployed in upcoming U.S. Columbia class and U.K. Dreadnought class SSBNs till a new missile is developed. These test flights were part of a Commander Evaluation Test CET. CET is designed to validate performance of the life-extended Trident II D-5 missile. Strategic missiles like Trident II are tested regularly to examine their reliability, accuracy, and readiness. As of now, 176 successful flights of the Trident II have been conducted. Vice Admiral Johnny R. Wolf, Director of the Navy's Strategic Systems Programs, the command responsible for the Navy's strategic weapons, stated, our nation's sea-based deterrent has been a critical component of our national security since the 1960s, and this week's launches continue to demonstrate the credibility and reliability of our life-extended missiles. Wolf added, the life-extended missiles are now being deployed to the fleet, but our work is not done. He further explained, the nuclear deterrence mission is the Department of Defense's number one priority and for the U.S. Navy, that means not only maintaining our current capability, but also developing the next generation of Trident missiles and shipboard strategic weapon system that will ensure a credible sea-based deterrent for the next 40 years and beyond. The Ohio class is a class of nuclear-powered submarines that's considered to be one of the most lethal platforms in the world. The U.S. Navy has 18 Ohio-class submarines, 14 ballistic missile submarines SSBN, and four that were later converted to guided missile submarines SSGN. The Ohio-class boats entered service in the 1980s as a replacement for five different classes of ballistic missile submarines. Ohio-class was created to be the ultimate nuclear deterrence. The logic of nuclear deterrence is like this. While a first strike might wipe out a country's land-based missiles and nuclear bombers, it's very difficult to track a ballistic missile submarine patrolling quietly in the depths of the ocean, and it's almost impossible to take them all out in a first strike. So ballistic missile submarines deter any enemy from launching a preemptive first strike. The Ohio-class submarines are the largest submarines ever built for the U.S. Navy, having a displacement of 16,764 tons. These have a length of 560 feet, that's 170 meters, and have a speed of around 20 to 25 knots. 
Being nuclear-powered, it has unlimited range and endurance, limited only by food supplies. Each Ohio-class submarine has two crews of 154 officers and enlisted personnel, designated gold and blue, who take turns departing on patrols that last an average of 70 to 90 days underwater, with the longest on record being 140 days by the USS Pennsylvania. An average of a month is spent between patrols with resupply facilitated by three large diameter supply hatches. The submarines of this class have multiple sensors. The surface search, navigation and fire control radar is BPS-15A IJ band radar. The sonar suite includes IBM BQQ-6 passive search sonar, Raytheon BQS-13, BQS-15 active and passive high-frequency sonar, BQR-15 passive towed array from Western Electric and the active BQR-19 navigation sonar from Raytheon. Cole Morgan Type 152 and Type 82 periscopes are fitted. Ohio-class submarines also come armed with four 21-inch tubes that can launch Mark 48 torpedoes. Mark 48 torpedo has a range of 50 kilometers or 31 miles. It has 650 pounds or 290 kilogram high explosive warhead. However, these are intended primarily for self defense. A ballistic missile submarine's job isn't to hunt enemy ships and submarines, but to lie as low and quiet as possible to deny rivals any means of tracking their movements. USS Nebraska, SSBN 739, is the 14th Ohio class ballistic missile submarine. She was commissioned on the 10th of July 1993. The first eight Ohio class boats were originally built to launch the Trident 1 C4 ballistic missile, an advanced version of the earlier Poseidon SLBM. However, by now all of these are armed with the superior Trident 2 D5 ballistic missile. Trident 2 was designed to be more advanced than its predecessor, Trident 1. Trident 2 is put into service in 1990. It has a greater range and payload capacity compared to Trident 1. The missile is 13.579 meters in length, 2.11 meters in diameter, and weighs in at 58.5 tons. It's a three-stage rocket, each stage containing a solid-fuel rocket motor. It's thought to have an accuracy of 90 meters CEP. Trident 2 has a range of 11,000 kilometers or 6,835 miles, and Ohio class ballistic missile submarines carries 24 of these. Trident 2 is a multiple independently targetable reentry vehicle, MIRV missile. Each Trident 2 can carry up to 14 W88 475 kiloton warheads or 14 W-76, 100 kiloton warheads. To give the viewer perspective, Little Boy atomic bomb dropped in Hiroshima had a yield of 15 kilotons of TNT, and Fat Man atomic bomb that was detonated over Nagasaki had a yield of 21 kilotons of TNT. New START strategic arms reduction treaty between United States and the Russian Federation agreed on having only 8 warheads per missile. So currently each Trident 2 are armed with 8 warheads. In short, a full salvo from an Ohio class submarine, which can be launched in less than 1 minute, could unleash up to 24 multiple 8, in other words 192 nuclear warheads. This is enough to obliterate a huge landmass. The 14 ballistic missile submarines of Ohio class together carry approximately 50% of the total U.S. active inventory of strategic thermonuclear warheads. A credible, effective nuclear deterrent is essential to the national security of the U.S. Not only this, U.S. is also directly and indirectly responsible for the security of many nations, including NATO members. 
Ballistic missile submarines are the cornerstone of America's nuclear posturing and will remain so for the foreseeable future. The Trident II SLBM, deployed in Ohio-class subs, is the most survivable part of America's nuclear deterrent and allows great operational flexibility. In this situation, it is paramount that the U.S. regularly validates these missiles. This is especially true when we consider the fact that the missiles went through the Life Extension Program. Till now, in 176 tests, there are less than 10 failures. Compared to 10 failures of Russian Balava SLBM in 27 tests. These statistics are even more impressive if we keep in mind that Russian Balava is a much newer missile. This demonstrates the solid reliability of Trident II missile and Ohio class submarines as a platform. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.